What's up everybody, Further Win Itachi here, you know what it is, and we are getting into it again with the Further Win Itachi Poke Vlog series, and thank you very much for tuning in. We are just starting live, and it is late, just about to hit 9 o'clock at night, and we are about to find as many Pokemon as we can, hit up the gym possibly, and adventure out. Right now we got two Pidgeys that are in route, as well as a Venonat. Not too much going on late at night, but we're definitely bound to do some something tonight, so let's get to it. I just remembered, and what better way to start off this week than evolving an Eevee. And we are going to be starting off, of course, with our strongest Eeveelution. Hopefully we can get a Flareon, but the only reason why I want a Flareon is because it's fire type. In fact, Jolteon, out of the very first three Eeveelutions, is probably the strongest, and it actually is. It, ha it is an electric type, which also pushes it above the curve. Um, it defeats Vaporeon any day of the week because Vaporeon's water type, and it does go head to head very well against a Flareon because Flareon's a fire type, but also Flareon's stats are completely weak compared to the other two. If Vaporeon was any other type and wasn't weak to electricity, Vaporeon would outwin the other two, but sadly in order it would be Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon. But we are going to be evolving our 125 CP Eevee right now. Uh, wish me luck. I do, again, I want a Flareon because it's fire type. Team Valor. Got that red in. But um, I will take anything, and I'm going to make this one random. We have just enough candy, so let's get to it. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh, no. Come on, Flareon. Come on, Flareon. I I'll take anything. I love the evolution, so I'll take any of it. Oh, it's not showing it. It's giving me the mystery. It's the mystery. It's a mystery. Uh, it's a mystery. It's not showing it to me. Definitely uh, something new is added to the Pokedex. Flareon. Oh, you guys don't even know. We just got Flareon. 325 CP. Why the hell did it keep the name? What? What is, what is this? Why did it keep the name? I hope this is how you spell it. Flareon. Um, I... I hope that's how you spell it. If not, I'll look when I get home. But I don't get it. Why did it? Okay, there we go. It registered. Oh, it's extra small though. It knows em it kept Ember and Flamethrower, which is very good move set for a Flareon. It's actually the best move set. I'm very happy we got a Flareon. Sadly, we can't see it. Let me see if I can re-register that in there. It is. Oh, where did it? Flareon 325? There we go. Hopefully, we can re-register it. Hopefully, we can see it now. No, sadly, we can't. But I'll take it. It's a 325 Flareon. It is extra small, which kind of sucks, but um, I'll take it. I mean, again, I wanted a Flareon, and I got it. Hopefully, my next two EVs, when I'll be able to evolve them, it's either a Jolteon or a Vaporeon. I wouldn't mind any of them, so let's keep going. Finally found something. It's a Krabby. Again, I have no clue why they're here. There's no water anywhere near us. Oh, it's a 137 CP Krabby. Not too shabby for the Krabby to be 137 right there. Hopefully we can get it a one shot. I am about to go back to the other community. I'm going to walk through it and head over to an area where there's a couple Pokestops and gyms. I'm going to drop a lure module and see if anyone's there and see how the gyms are looking and possibly do some battles there. But again, if I find any Pokemon on the way, definitely going to be catching them up. You guys don't even know right now. I just found a Clefable, a wild Clefable. I've got it on lock. I got it on focus, of course. I know it's very dark right now, but I got it on lock and focus. I'm heading over to the Pokestops, but hopefully I can find this bad boy tonight. If not, that is going to be a true letdown. Oh my gosh, guys, look what we just spotted. Look how big this thing is. It is a wild Clefable. The CP is going to be off the charts. Oh, it's actually only 166. I'll take it though. Oh, we're definitely throwing a Raspberry. I'm sorry about this. A uh, Raspberry, I'm sorry about that. Raspberry. Going to make sure it is easier to capture. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't even focus here. Throw. Oh my gosh, I'm wasting Pokeballs. I can't even reach. Why is it so far away? There we go. That was a better throw. A little bit off, but it is a better throw. Wasted tons of Pokeballs on that. Oh my gosh. The Raspberry didn't do anything. Ugh. I held my thumb down for too long. And I can't even throw, guys. I can't even throw. What's going on? It feels like it's super far away. Just dropped a Pokeball. And it's attacking. You know what? Let's move over here. Oh my gosh, I can't even get this. Ugh. I can't even get it. Come on. 
there we go. That's a better throw. That's more like it. Hopefully we can get this one so we can move on out. Because I shouldn't really be here. Come on. Raspberry work. Raspberry work. You guys don't even know. You guys don't even know. We just caught a... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Clefable, look at that. Look at that. That is next level right there. 166 CP, which kind of sucks, but it is pretty good. It is not extra small, so we are still good from there. So let's keep moving on. That is the rare catch of the day. This should be an easy catch, lads. We've got an Ekans going on here. Pretty easy CP, I'm assuming. Not too much. Ooh, it's a 184, which isn't too bad. Got it on the first row. Hopefully we can get this and keep it inside the balls because we're almost at the pokey stops. And again, I should not be in this community too long. And we did get it on the first catch, which is very good. So let's get on over to those gyms and those pokey stops and I'll see you guys there. All right, so we about to hit our very first pokey stop for the night. And it is the one at the garden statue. We're gonna go ahead and do a spinner We got another raspberry and an egg. I do wanna go ahead and check out what kilometer level that egg is at. I have yet to get a 10K. So hopefully it is one. It is another five, so we'll deal with that. That's okay. We do got nine out of nine eggs, so we do got to start popping up these other ones pretty quickly. So let's get over to the gym across the street inside the church. Well, what sucks is one of the gyms I can't get to, which was the Mystic Gym, because it is currently closed. The gate, the community, well, it's not a gated community. It's a locked garden that is closed right now. And so I'm across the street where there is a instinct gym with a low CP, just above 700 Arcanine at level four. And I was gonna try to take over this gym, but uh, my game is bugged and it's just not working right now. So I'm gonna have to head home and try again tomorrow because I've, I've been sitting here for a good 20 minutes trying to get it to load and it just won't load. And this is probably the easiest gym to take over for me right now, but I sadly can't do it. So we are going to go ahead and reset this game and start making our way home for the night and we will be back again tomorrow. Alrighty everybody, so I've been getting a lot of interesting Pokemon from my eggs and I've got a full sack of nine. So in order for me to get more eggs, I got to get rid of these ones and the quickest way to do that is to go ahead and buy a bunch of egg incubators. Yes, this is gonna be a huge waste of coins, but gonna have to buy seven of these because I have seven slots that do not have an incubator and you do get the infinite incubator, so that's one slot covered. And I'm using one last one on, I believe, my second egg. So let's go ahead and see how many I just bought because I did not even pay attention at all right there. What else do we got? We got nine eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and incubate all of them. In fact, I prefer the two kilometer eggs over than the the five kilometer eggs because the two kilometer eggs have the opportunity to get the starting Pokemon while the five kilometer eggs do not and the five kilometer eggs I'm getting a bunch of trash so I kind of struggling with these five kilometer eggs and the two kilometer eggs I haven't really gotten much either but uh, I can deal with it because I'm getting uh, more of these starter Pokemon and I would love to evolve this Charmander as quickly as possible. How many do I have left? I think I just, I think I bought a perfect amount of egg incubators without even noticing. We've got one left. Sweet! So all these are gonna be incubated at the exact same time and are probably hatch around the same time as well. I didn't even notice right now, but an egg of mine just hatched into a Paris. And we just got a mass amount of uh, Paris candies from that. But that's not the, what did I just get? Ooh, 10 bug type Pokemon. That's pretty cool. But that's not what I was actually looking at. I, I couldn't, I didn't have time to record that egg hatching, but there's a Pidgeot again, two nights in a row. So it's probably the same Pidgeot because I bet you not that many people are playing Pokemon Go inside this community, but there is a Pidgeot. I, I need to find this thing, dude, but I can only stay on this road and we are going to head over to the gym, but I'm going to see if I can get this Pidgeot because this is top priority right now. I've got so many Pidgeotos. I've never seen a Pidgey or a Pidgeot yet. It's, it's just shocking. I've never seen a Pidgey and everybody complains about, I got so many Pidgeys, but uh, yeah, we've got a Pidgeot and it's on lock. It is on radar right now. Hopefully we can find it because that would be an amazing capture for the night. 
and we are going to head over onto some gyms check out what's going on it's the same butterfree that's taken over that gym hopefully we can get into the gardens um but other than that terrible news everybody the pidgeot left my nearby list oh whoa 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 wait it's back so i've been going the wrong way and i don't know if it's worth it but since i've been going the wrong way and it went away on my nearby list i know probably which way it is um, i'm going to continue going the way i should be and if not we're going to do something i shouldn't do and we're going to go for it we're going to go to some streets that we shouldn't be on and we're going to try to get this pidgeot man because this this pidgeot's worth more than my past of walking through this i can just go ahead and walk around might take another 20 minutes but we got this. We got to get this Pidgeot, man. It is on radar. We are going to go to where we need to go. Go get a Pokestop. We're not going to worry about the gyms. This Pidgeot is top priority today. And we are going to find it. I, I just walked towards my community again, but through a different way. And it went off my nearby list. So I know it's not in my community. It's got to be somewhere that way, I'm assuming. I, I really don't know and everything knowing nothing goes to the two or one steps anymore it all stay at three so this game's kind of bugged now um, no longer does the three steps but let's go ahead and see if we can find this Pidgeot holy smokes guys look what I just found it is the Pidgeot it was towards where the gyms are oh my gosh this is I gotta get it before someone else does this is a Pidgeot first oh we gotta throw the raspberries it's only a 356 but I'll take it uh, raspberry, I keep forgetting it's a raspberry and not a rossberry. It's a raspberry, so we're going to go ahead and definitely use that. I don't think we have any great balls because we are only level 9 right now. So this is going to be a quick and easy, hopefully, catch. Hopefully we can get this one. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Eh. Come on. I can't even reach. Alright, hold on. Hold on, we going for this. Might be the worst vlogging of all time, but we two-handing this now. We two-hand in this. Oh my gosh, I can't even two-hand it. My phone's so sticky. Why is it going so far? What? What is this? Okay, okay. We, 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 we've got it. Oh my gosh. All right, what if I do the spinner? Oh, that was even worse. There we go, there we go. Finally got it into a Pokeball. I don't know why, but it's drifting. So I don't know if that's a difficulty catch or something to get this Pidgeot. But I do have a Raspberry on it. Oh, first catch. First time capture on this Pidgeot. We just got, oh my gosh. Look at that. We've got a Pidgeot on the crew. CP isn't the best, but I will definitely take it. It is a 356 CP Pidgeot. We're going to be able to power up this baby. Let's go ahead and check out what those moves were. The move set though. Move set. Ooh, it is my third strongest Pokemon. Wing attack and aerial ace. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. We're definitely going to be powering up this guy when we get enough Stardust. And we can go ahead and get rid of our Pidgeotto, I believe it was. Yeah, we do have a very low Pidgeotto at 112, so we'll be able to get rid of this. It's a Steel Wing and Twister. That would be a nice... Nice Pidgeot if it was Steel Wing and Twister, but for now we've got this Pidgeot and we are going to be power leveling them up pretty shortly once we can get some more um, Stardust because this is a very strong Pokemon at early game. I cannot believe we found that man. Now let's go find some Pidgeys. As usual, about to hit it up with this quick Pokey stop. As you guys know, this is basically my like home stop. We've got a new egg. Hopefully it's something goo. We're actually going to put it in an incubator right now while we're at it because we got extras. So let's go ahead and drop this bad boy in the incubator. Uh, it's a two kilometer. Uh, that's kind of rubbish. That's kind of rubbish right there. Uh, we do use our infinite incubator, so let's go ahead and do that. And this gym I can't currently go into. As you guys can see, the gate is locked. But we can go across the street to this yellow gym. And for those of you that are tuning in, I'm going to try to use this gym for my gym guide. So if you want to check out this part of the video, make sure to tune in to my beginner's guide for Pokemon gyms. And other than that, stay tuned for some more gym content. Here's an interesting Pokemon that we do not find in these areas too often. It is a Mankey. Hopefully I can capture this one. Probably can. It is a CP36, so it's a weak Mankey. First flick of the thumb, we were able to capture this guy. Hopefully it does last and stay in the Pokeball. 
And we have caught ourselves a manky. Let's see what this, what my other CP manky was before we go ahead and decide on if we are getting rid of that one. Got to transfer one of them. And we are going to train. Oh, definitely. My other one's 175. So we are going to transfer this manky. Where did it go? Okay, CP36. That's how low it was. Super low manky, but that's okay. It is an extra large, though. But uh, my other one's an XL as well. So an XL in both weight and height, even though the height doesn't really matter too much. It's mainly the weight that gives you the HP bonus. But other than that, let's keep on adventure. Now, this is something we definitely find a lot of in our parts. It's an actual fry horn and mine's not too bad cp wise oh damn 243 it's got that yellow circle i just did a nice throw on it so hopefully i can catch it there's also a pokey stop right next to me but i don't think i can get to it because it is in a different gated community i caught that right horn at 240 plus on the first try and i'm very positive this is the new right horn for the squad I'm going to go ahead and check out what the other level was on my other right horn. It was a 217, so we're definitely taking up this 243 right horn and checking them out. We are very close on right horn candy. Again, we do find a lot of these guys in our spot, and it's pretty dark where I am. One second, let me move. Again, there is this pokey stop here, and I'm going to see if I can get closer to it. And I believe I can by walking down there, so let me go ahead and adventure out down to that pokey stop if i can get closer to it again it is in a gated community there's one over there as well i'll go ahead and click on it and show you it is a friendly valley community church again that's a different community church i'm on a public church right here but uh, we're going to try to get as close as we can to this pokey stop this gym is too much for me right now guys it is a vaporeon at 952 that's not a lot but my pokemon are very weak against it i have a flareon and a marowak a ground type and a fire type do not fare too well against these water types. Oh my gosh, I'm right next to this place. Go ahead and look, guys. This is the building that I have to be at. This is the fence that is blocking me. I mean, can I get any closer? Can I get any closer? Come on, I'm, I'm like throwing my phone over there. Come on. Are you guys are you serious? Oh my gosh. This this is baloney's. This is goddamn baloney's. I can't even get that Pokestop, but I know of one that I can get because I am about to make my way home for the night. Go get some dinner. Not sure what I'm eating yet, but I'm going to go get some dinner in. We're going to go ahead and grab the Pokestop that is across the street over here. It is the garden statue that I just picked up earlier while I was walking over here to check out this gym. The other gym across the street, though, the blue one held by Team Mystic. That's even worse, but I can't even get to it because it is in a gated community, just like the other stuff. So you, you're right next to things, but the gated community, it locks certain parts of it, and I can't get into it because it's a garden statue. It closes at like 6 p.m., so if I can get, I'm always at work at that time, but if I can get there before then, my Pokemon are golden until around 8 in the morning, so... Hopefully we can get there one day. Poke stop items before we make our way home. Got some Pokeballs. I needed some potions, so that definitely didn't help. But uh, let's go ahead and make our way home and call it a night for the night. But definitely we'll be playing tomorrow, so I'll see you guys then unless we see any cool, interesting Pokemon on the way. Alright, so as needed, I need some higher CP Pokemon. And I did get quite a bit of dust today. I was at roughly zero. I was just above in like the hundreds or two hundreds. And I've got 2,500, so I can power up my Golbat twice. It is at 522. It just got a plus 26, so I don't think I can power him up anymore. So let's go ahead and check out that one. He's at 548 now. Yeah, I can't power him up anymore because he is maxed to my level for that Pokemon. Same with the Marowak. That one is maxed out as well. We're going to go ahead and probably power up my Flareon. I would like the Flareon to be pretty higher. So actually, wait, no, 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 no. No to the Flareon. No to the Flareon because I need those candies for my Eevees. So we're holding off on the Flareon. Sorry about that. So we'll just go ahead and waste it on Pidgeot, I guess. Pidgeot is only 800, which is nice. So let's go ahead and get a... Ooh, plus 28. That is sweet. That couldn't got any better. What is the highest you can get? Oh, my power up. Are you serious? Oh, I need more Stardust. Oh, I'm four off. Uh, does Persian have anything? No, he's an 800 as well. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. We'll go up. We'll get some more higher CP Pokemon, but I do have a 384 Pidgeot now and a CP 548 Golbat. So my Golbat's doing work, but everything else is kind of struggling. 
All right, so as I showed you guys earlier today, I know it's very dark right now, but as I showed you guys earlier today, I was hatching a lot of eggs. I put them in incubators. Here comes about three to four of them right now, and these are mostly the two kilometer eggs. Cause I just saw, ooh, got another Weedle, which is actually nice because I do not have the evolved forms of Weedle yet. It is a 97 Weedle, which is very good. I got some Stardust out of that one and a plenty amount of Weedle candy. So that was a positivity out of that. Let's go ahead and hatch another egg. See what we get from this little baby here. Ooh, Dojo. I don't think I got this one yet. I don't got this Pokemon yet. This is next level C, registered to the Pokedex. I did not have a Dojo. That was a little bit awkward. It is a 204. Dude, these, these are coming out of eggs strong. It is an extra small, sadly. But these Pokemon are coming out of the eggs on point. They're like, I don't even know. Can we keep it going? Can we keep this going? A Rattata. All right, cool. I see how it is. Do I even have a Rattata? I did. Ooh, I can get Eradicate. Sweet. All right, I think there's one more. Yep, here it is, the last egg of the day. Please give me a starter Pokemon, unless this is my 5K, and I don't believe this is my five kilometer egg. It's another rat attack, come on. Which one's stronger is the question. It's a 118 rat attack, all right. We didn't get any rat attack candy out of that. That was a bunch of baloney. I earned a medal, hatched 10 eggs, so that's pretty cool. Go ahead and check out what my eggs are cooking right now. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I sneeze. But uh, we gotta deal with that. All right, so we got a bunch of 5Ks. Uh, they're all at 2.1, and then we got a 2K at 1.3. None of those are gonna be hatched today. So we'll stick with those for now. But um, we did get a couple of Pokemon. We got a Rattatat, we got uh, Weedles, and we got a Dojuo, which was pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and organize them when I get home. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the evolutions if I got any going. And there is a Magikarp here and a Pidgey somewhere nearby, but I'm not too keen on rushing myself to finding those. Um, you know what, let's go ahead and before my battery runs out, get these going. We did get a Weedle. Let's deal with these Weedles really quick. This one right here. Get rid of this one, yeah. It's extra, extra large Weedle though. But it's okay, we're gonna get rid of it. Transfer, and I know about the uh, experience buff that you can get when you do the lucky eggs and evolutions. Just really, really do not have the time for that right now. I'd rather just evolve and just play it easily. Uh, we got Rattatat, so here's, okay, there's three. Here's the two that I believe we, no, we didn't get this one today. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. It is Tackle and Hyper Fang Rattatat. I would love to get Hyper Fang on my Raticate, which would be nice. It is a decent quality move, and then we got a 124 and a 118, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this one as well. It is a tackle and dig. Definitely do not want that. Dig is a complete terrible move, and it is a good move, but it's not good for a rat attack. So let's go ahead and scroll through, make sure we don't got any more doubles except Eevees. Eevees can host the doubles. Eevees can host the doubles. And we did get one Dojibo, so that was nice. All right, so my go back clean. My Marowak clean. I'm going to go ahead and go through all these guys when I get home. And I'll go ahead and show you guys the evolutions. So I will see you there. Alrighty, everybody. There was a Rhyhorn near my house. I have no clue where it went. Just got home. I had a battery that was charging. And I just stacked it in this phone because my other battery died on the way here. And perfect timing. Sadly, I couldn't show you guys that I reached level 10. But I did just reach level 10. And we are about to evolve two Pokemon right now. One is a Rattata, and the other one is going to be a Weedle. So let's go ahead and get that Weedle in first, because it's just evolving into a Kakuna. I mean, nothing too super cool fancy going on here. But we are going to get the Evolution Experience Points and a brand new Pokemon added to the Pokedex Experience Points. So that's pretty good. But um, I'm not using the Lucky Egg, so I'm just not into that right now. But we did get a Kakuna, and this is the first Kakuna I've ever seen in Pokemon Go. I've never actually seen one in the wild yet, so that's kind of odd. But registered to the Pokedex, I'm completing my Pokedex, which is also a very cool thing. A CP106 Kakuna. It is an extra small Kakuna. Knows Bug Bite and Struggle. It's a complete shitter. It's a complete shitter! Alright. And my Rattata's still stronger than you. Alright, let's get you a good Raticate here, please. 
Let's get a good eradicate here, please. Come on. I clicked evolve. All right, here we go. Good eradicate. Come on. Give me some good CPs. I don't want to see your ass. The hell is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was nasty. Good eradicate, though. New to the Pokedex. Welcome to the squad, my man. Or female. Not sure which one you're at. Uh, but that CP, though. Well, it's registered to the Pokedex, which is a good thing. But that CP is 315, not too... The uh, goddamn extra small! Oh! It knows Hyper Beam, though, and Bite. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it for now. That is pretty good until I catch one in the wild. But where did we get that? We got it all the way up to 315. Welcome to the top six of the squad, son. Welcome to the top six of the squad. And we are going to be able to power up some Pokemon now because... We did reach a higher level, so go back about to get that treatment in, son. Go back about to get that treatment in. Now that we are level 10, we can keep powering up. And he's got 548. Do a 1000 Stardust power up on this uh, bad boy here. Got a plus 26, 77, 70 HP out of 70 HP, my bad. And what else do we got? We can keep going. Next one's going to cost 1300, though. It's at 574. This should lock him out. Plus 26. 600 CP, 71 out of 71 HP, and that is going to lock him out for now. So that is a 600 CP gold bat, and Marowak wants some candies as well. It only costs 1,000 on this guy, so let's go ahead and check this one out. We got a plus 23, so it is a 510 Marowak. And we got plus, uh, 600 uh, Stardust left, so we're going to keep it uh, empty-handed for right now. But that is a squad. That is a squad right now. Let's see what my eggs are cooking. 1.6 out of 2.0 is the next one that's about to hatch, and then we got four, two point, uh, halfway done, 5.0 kilometers. So, not too bad. Uh, not, oh, plus 2,000 experience points. Oh, we just got a shit ton into level 10. So, going good, going good right now. Getting new Pokemon added to the Pokedex daily, which is always a good sign. Uh, I just want to complete this Pokedex as quickly as possible. Uh, I know I can't do it all in my own neighborhood, but we can get as much as possible done here. So stay tuned for some more content, and we won't, are definitely not done with this episode. And I'm about to eat some Taco Bell and play some other Pokemon games. So stay tuned for some more content on my YouTube channel. What's up everybody, Father Winitachi, you know what it is. Just about to leave my house and it is 10.15 at night. I plan on staying out here for a good two hours searching for Pokemon, of course, because that's what we're playing. We're playing Pokemon Go. And right when I left my house, we found a Rhyhorn. And what's good about this is the fact that, ooh, it's 179. I don't think it's stronger than my other one. Oh my gosh, I can't even throw a Pokeball one-handed again. Oh my gosh, wasting Pokeballs. Why is it... Okay, it's loading. Okay, what is going on here? I'm wasting Pokeballs left and right. There we go, there's a good throw. Um, what's good about a Rhyhorn is I have a lot of candies and I can evolve one of my Rhyhorns into a Rhydon. So that's going to be a very massive and strong Pokemon to get. And I did catch it in the first try. It is very late, so I'm going to try to utilize the lighting that we have in our communities uh, pretty much what I'm gonna do tonight is uh, 46 I'm gonna have 47 because I'm about to get rid of one of these right horns yeah, it definitely wasn't stronger than my other one and the reason why I came out late tonight it is 10 15 and um, I'm gonna be trying out different time frames to see if there's different Pokemon in the different time zones or not the time zones the time frames I should say and it is 10.15, it is a little bit later than usual, and it's going to be harder to record. But um, we're going to go out from here. We're going to head over to the same Pokestops that I have been going to the past couple of days. Check out my Pokemon really quick. I'm not going to be leveling them up. Um, we, did, we do got some Super Potions, but I'm going to throw out a Lucky Egg right now. And wait, wait, before I do so, do I have an Incense? That's what I wanted. I wanted an Incense to make sure I'm attracting some Pokemon. So we're going to go ahead and go to the shop and grab an Incense, and then... Uh, for the first half hour, we're going to use an incense, and then because we're going to be traveling to these Poke Stops, and then for the next half hour, we're going to go ahead and utilize a lure module at one of the Poke Stops that we're going to be chilling at. 
So items, let's go ahead and drop an incense. And then let's go ahead and use items, drop a lucky egg. We've already attracted something. It is a Nidoran. Female, which is even better because of the fact that we have a... Oh, it's a CP10. Definitely getting rid of this one. I don't know why I threw the Pokeball there. Oh my gosh. It's a CP10. Come on. Here we go. Perfect throw. Um, and we got the lucky egg going on. So double experience points right now. But what's good about this is I do have enough um, candies coming from the Nidorina in order to evolve her into a Nido Queen. We got 76, we're about to get 77 from this one and we need 33 more to go. So let's go ahead and keep on traveling and get out of this area and search for some more Pokemon of course because we do gotta get some higher CP Pokemon and hopefully our eggs hatch. Where are our eggs at? And hopefully we don't run into some wild coyotes. Alright, so we're about halfway on four of the fives, and then uh, one of them's about to hatch, so hopefully I can record that one and get it to you guys. Alright, perfect spot. About to hatch this egg. It is only a two kilometer egg, so hopefully we can capture or receive one of the starter Pokemon. We got a Magikarp! Oh wow, I did not know the Magikarps come out of the twos. So that's registered to the Pokedex, that's going to be a brand new one. It is a 65, I will take it. It is brand new and it is extra large. So, oh, we gotta get 400 in order to evolve this bad boy. Definitely, I'll tell you right now, we're gonna have to find a wild Gyarados because I'm not evolving that thing, I'll tell you that. It's gonna take a long time. It is not very bright, as you guys can tell, but uh, we're gonna deal with what we got, the lighting situation. It is a CP70 Zubat. Goddamn Zubats, man. Why do you have to be so hard to capture? Oh, perfect throw right on the nose, man. It's going to be an easy capture. It's a low CP Zubat. I do got a gold bat. That is my strongest Pokemon. So, oh my gosh. Didn't get it. I mean, I didn't even reach on that one. Running out of Pokeballs here, son. Why is it so far away? Boom. The hell was that? Oh, it's a car. <laughs> I was like, wait, whoa. Bright. Oh my gosh, come on. I gotta focus. Let's go ahead and bring out my two hands here. Whew, here we go. CP70 Zubat. Come on. Why? It feels so far away. I'm hitting this, flinging this so goddamn far. I'm wasting Pokeballs left and right. This, Zub this Zubat is not worth it though. Come on. Right, here we go. Oh my gosh, it attacked. And I can't capture it. But there we go. Nice throw, too. Hopefully we can capture it this time. It is so difficult to vlog and capture Pokemon at the same damn time. Finally got it, though. Finally got it. Gonna make our way over to the Pokestops pretty shortly. But we just got this Zubat. What's going on? I, okay, I'll tell you guys right now a story. I always used to be... Well, I still am. I'm scared of the night. I prefer night... I hear something. Maybe I shouldn't do this by myself, but uh, we got three magic. Oh, two magic carps, pretty short, close by. God, I'm, I'm scared as hell right now, guys. But when I make it to the Poke Stop, I know I'll be safe because there's people over there. Alrighty, everybody. We just attracted a Paris. I believe it was because of the incense. Because I've never seen an actual Paris here before. It is a 174, which is pretty damn decent. What's going on with my Poke throws tonight? Oh my gosh, it is super spinny. Get a little mini. It's a close one, so I don't have to flick it too far. Hopefully we can get this one really easily and make our way out of this community. Oh my gosh, I guess it's not going to be easy. It's a CP-174. It's not too high. So it's not something great I'm capturing here. I'm just capturing it for the experience points and just to make sure I get more candies on this bad boy here. I'm going to go ahead and check out what my other level Paris is. This one is a regular, and my other Paris is, I got 24 candies, which is nice, so I can get a Parasect soon. I did see a Parasect. My other one is 199, so the 174 is going to go away, the one that I've just captured. And I know the one at 199 is pretty damn decent as well, too. It's not like it's a 199 and it's extra small, it's, it's regular as well. So, we're going to stay with that one and keep adventuring on out. Getting experience points. Would like to hit level 11 tonight if possible, but I'm not going to stay out too late because, I, again, I am by myself. 
scared of the darks here and uh, got to deal with the darks now. Got to deal with it. Alrighty, here's an odd one. It is a Jigglypuff. I definitely didn't expect it and I definitely didn't get it from the incense. So, it's a CP60 Jigglypuff. I'm very positive it's higher than the other one that I got. The other one that I got is a really low CP and I caught it just a couple days ago as well. Hopefully this one is good enough to... Yes, got it. It did not take long to get this one at all. Uh, let's get that nice throw as well. Got the extra experience. So let's go ahead and check out what that other Jigglypuff was. Be very nice to keep this Jigglypuff ball rolling. It was a CP12, so I, I knew it was a low one. Nothing too fancy. Would love to evolve it soon. No, no, but I am nowhere near that, as you guys can tell. I only have seven Jigglypuff candies. So let's keep it on going. Gonna make our way over to the Poke Stop, unless we get stopped by some more Pokemon, which is always great. I'm not mad about Pokemon. Got no repels on me here, so we going for it. Got to get them levels up, and hopefully we can reach again level 11 tonight. This, these Pokemon aren't even letting me move right now. I'm just catching Pokemon right, right and left over here. I got a Clefairy at 110. Do have a Clefable, but this is good enough uh, to get some candies out in order to level up that Clefable. The Clefable is not that high of a CP. Oh my gosh, it was attacking. Should not have thrown that Pokeball. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it attacked again. What, what is up with this? Ooh. Oh, oh, that was a, an, uh, that was weird. Landed on top of the head. Didn't get it because it was attacking me, and it so got out. You're not worthy of, oh, nice throw, okay. It's taken three Pokeballs, or three hits, and it's still not gonna be captured, come on. What's going on here? My flicks are so good right now. I've got two nices in a row, and an awkward one right before that. This should be good. It's zooming in, and it's, oh my gosh. You're the Pokeball waster right here, son. Oh my gosh. It got sticky. Alright. It bounced, and, and I don't know, man. I've got 39 Pokeballs left. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. At least I got a lot of Poke coins from uh, holding a gym a week back. Got it. Got it. That's all I needed to see right there. Just caught a Clefairy. Please be sprinklers. Something's making a noise. Hopefully it's a sprinkler. Uh, this Clefairy is regular and regular, so I'm going to be getting rid of it. Don't need it. Don't need it. And it knows Pound and Body Slam. Definitely a waste for me. My Clefable is actually pretty decent. I just need to power it up. Team Mystic and Instinct still control those gyms over there, so let's go ahead and make our way over. The one that is controlled by Mystic, though, however, is the exact same three Pokemon there. They're raking up the Poke Coins. This is where I was able to rake up my Poke Coins because um, it's a gym where at 6 o'clock at night it closes and all the way until 8 o'clock in the morning. So if you can get it right before 6, you're golden. So sadly, we don't got it, but uh, let's go ahead and make our way over. Alright, so we got a male Nidoran. I'm going to try to make my way over to the other side of the street. Hopefully we can get this guy in here. Hopefully it hasn't frozen. There we go. It hasn't frozen. I'm going to get to the other side of the street so I can get some light here. But we do got a male Nidoran. CP82. We got a Nidorino. Oh, that was a good throw. Finally, I got it on the first try. Now, hopefully it stays in the Pokeball because I do not need this. My Nidorino is actually pretty decent. I just need uh, more candies in order to power level him. But I'm not working on my power levels right now, uh, mainly because I do not have that much Stardust. I gotta catch tons of Pokemon and hatch tons of eggs and keep getting my Stardust. So let's keep it going into that Poke Stop. Alright, there was a Growlithe there, and I might make my way over there, but there is a Zubat right here, so I'm gonna take advantage of this CP113 Zubat. Oh my gosh, my throws against Zubats. When I see a Zubat, it just threatens me. It's like. It's like an intimidation. It's just so far away and it moves so much. Look at that flick. That's a nice flick right there. Hopefully we can catch this because we are getting closer to the front and the Pokestops and the gyms. I would like to work on the gyms. Uh, that would be something cool to do tonight. Uh, okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's an extra small. That's even worse. So let's go definitely transfer this bad boy. Hopefully that Growlithe returns. There was a Growlithe right next to us. I'm gonna, It's still there, so... I'm gonna make my way a little bit more inside. It should have appeared. All right, Growlithe's not there anymore. Growlithe's not there, so let's go ahead and make our way over to the gyms. It's right there, we're almost there. There's a blue one again. I can't do anything about the blue. 
But there is one that is covered by Team Instinct. It is no longer a Jolt Team on there. It is level 2 with an Executor. It is a 1036, and I am way behind that. But at least it's not, I mean, a Vaporeon. At least it's no longer a Vaporeon because I had monsters, or I had Pokemon, I should say. Use the correct terminology here, bro. That were weak against that Vaporeon. Now, I have uh, Pokemon that are strong against this Executor. Sadly, then my CP is not great, but we're going to attempt it and see how it goes. Got to try someday because... Oh, what was that? What is that? What is that? It's a Paris. It's another Paris. Let's see if we can get this bad boy. It's a CP62. Got it. I'm, I'm, my, my throws are getting there. It's Zubats. It's, when I see a Zubat, it's flying around and moving around so much. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? And I just like hesitate and throw a bad ball. But we got that Paris on the first try. Definitely extra small Paris too. So definitely transferring that one. It's not an upgrade for my other one. And we just got a medal. Caught 10 grass type Pokemon. So that's very cool. Earning my achievement points. So let's go ahead and get over to these gyms and get our battling on, son. Pretty sure I can get close enough for it though. Alright, so I figured out this place does close at 10 o'clock at night, which is this gym, the yellow one. I'm not sure if I can get close enough to even get into it. We are going to attempt to, and now that I know it closes at 10, this lucky guy has been able to get it. Sadly, I don't think we can get into it. Nope, we were not able to get into it at all. Well, now I know it's kind of pointless to get here after 10 o'clock, because... There's this gym right here that has this fence gated, or that community gated, I should say, and there's another one with a white fence over there, and it, that one's gated as well, which is the blue gym. Uh, I was able to get a pokey stop, but other than that, this trip tonight was kind of useless, so we're going to make our way back home, but yeah, I'm, I'm just not going that way, no, I'm going back home, so at least I know these close at 10 o'clock, so... I'm going to ask the guard if he's nice enough to let me go ahead and get these two pokey stops over here. One is at a church and one is at a little storefront. And then I'll make my way back home. That would make this trip kind of decent. But um, I'm not going to waste any more eggs or anything like that. And what are my eggs at, by the way? Are they even close enough to hatching or are they still in the threes? They are 3.8, so we got a long way for that. I don't even think we're going to hatch those tonight. But tomorrow is definitely going to be a great episode. Um, still within this one, but uh, let's go ahead and make our way back home. Sadly, this gym, I mean, we just cannot get close to it. I'm, I'm kind of stuck because there's a, there's, there's, a, there's a damn gate, and I think I can beat that executor, but it's all good. We're going to make our way back home. And, yeah, there's no, no good Pokemon in this area either, so hopefully my incense can bring something in the last two minutes. So I just found an Ekans when I was talking to the security guard to get back into the community to go home. And it got me over the 50, one, or the 50 candy mark in order to evolve this Ekans into an Arbok. And this Ekans is an XLXL with a pretty decent moveset. So we're going to go quickly evolve this guy before my lucky egg disappears. We're going to get the bonus experience points from evolving this bad boy here. And hopefully this Arbok is pretty decent. Hopefully it continues and stays with the XLXL benefits. First time we're getting an Arbok, so that's definitely going to be new to the Pokédex here. First time I've actually seen one in the game, so let's go ahead and get that one in quickly. Register to the Pokédex, get that one in quickly. I want to make sure I get the egg benefits from this as well. Oh my gosh, it switched from extra large to extra small on the weight. If only it could have done that on the height. Come on, man. CP is 412, which isn't even good either. But it does no bite and sledge wave, which is decent, but it wasn't a great pull out of that evolution. So this Arbok is kind of a downer, a Debbie Downer right here, but it is my third strongest Pokemon, so I can't complain. I'm going to keep him with it for now. But um, on my way back home, whether I see some Pokemon or not, I'm going to go ahead and check to see if I can evolve anything else. Um, but let's continue with our adventures and make our way. Oh snap, crackle, and pop. I completely forgot. I have an Eevee, and I can't evolve it, and the CP on this Eevee is not too bad. It's not too shabby. You get that one. Hopefully you guys got that joke. Uh, I don't even think it was a joke. It was just a freaking rhyme of words right there. But a CP257 
and I'm gonna definitely evolve this bad boy. I want a Jolteon or a Vaporeon. I prefer a Vaporeon right now just because, but hopefully it's one of those two and not a Flareon. If it's a Flareon, this is gonna be a complete waste. Oh! Oh! Oh, snip, crackle, the pop, snap! We got Jolteon right now, son. Goddamn Sparky right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We just got a Jolteon. We are going home. And we just, oh my gosh. I can't believe we caught that too. We just caught that. That is a 519. Extra, I don't care. It's extra small, but it knows. Oh, it knows Thunder too. I can't hate. It knows Thunder. And it knows Thunder Shock. This is the... Why did it get... What, what is this? My Eevee's... Oh my gosh. My Eevee's stay with their, their original name. Can I rename them? Well, I'm gonna rename... Okay, I can rename them. You gotta rename them Jolteon. I don't... I don't play like that. You know, I don't play like that, my man. Shift. I even gotta get the name and the shifts correct. Jolteon. Okay. Okay. Hate when it bugs out like that. And it's only happened to me when I uh, level up my... Alright, so we do got a Flareon and a Jolteon, so I'll continue checking out if I can evolve anything else, but let's get home. Quick update while I was walking home, I did reach level 11, so that was some feat of strength to get there. Uh, mainly from evolving a couple of Pokemon that you guys just saw. I was heading home, but uh, I found a Pokemon on my nearby list that is something that I haven't gotten yet. So I might as well go ahead and check to see if I can find this bad boy out. Well, it's not really a bad boy, it's a freaking Psyduck, and if you guys remember Misty's Psyduck, God damn, that thing got on my nerves. But in its mind, it had some powerful stuff when it got a headache. And, and on top of that, it was actually a smart Pokemon. Misty, oh my gosh, it just went farther away. I'm assuming it is... Well, okay, so it was coming, it was far away. And then the more I walked this way, it got closer. And I just took a step and it made it get farther away. So it's either behind me closer to my house or there is water that way but it's a pool so I'm gonna go ahead and go that way first and if we can find this Psyduck that would be brilliant if not hopefully we can find it I'm very positive we will um, if it gets closer and closer that's a good sign that means we're getting closer to it if it gets farther and farther that means it's behind me and it's most likely on the other side of the fence and I can't get to it so hopefully we can find this little dude Right now, it's still in the same spot. There's a Charmander, though, here. If I can get a high CP Charmander, that would be great. And then we can evolve that little dude into a Charmeleon. Oh, there's an egg hatching. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. I didn't even know. I did not even know. I, got, I think I got five eggs here. There's an Ekans. Are you, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, damn. It's a 174 useless, pointless Ekans. Transfer this thing into the goddamn... I don't even know where it goes, but transfer it. I like the lights in my community. It, is, it makes it a little bit better. Ooh! 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 We just got a Magnemite. These things are like impossible to find where I live. It's a 186 though. So why can't I get anything decent? Come on, where's my luck? The car coming. I wanna use this light though. We got another egg. Where's my luck? Why can't I get anything decent? God damn it. Bloody hell. What's the CP? 238. Okay, it might be better than the other one. We're halfway there. Alright, that execute's gonna be on hold. One more. Last egg. Check this thingy out, man. Check this thingy out. Give me something good. Give me something good. Oh! This was my two... I don't even know. That was a 5K, I think. Ugh. 31 candies. I mean, at least it boosted up my candies for my Nido King, which would be a freaking gold mine to get. That'd be amazing. Let's go ahead and check out those eggs. I believe that was the last one, and I got a 2K egg. Got a walk point eight. That'll definitely not happen today, unless we are searching for Psyduck for five years. And I'll execute. Where you at? The 238's gonna stay with me, so I'm gonna be getting rid of the 188. Don't know what's going on with the Ochos, but uh, the Ochos are on point today. Let's go ahead and transfer this bad boy. What else do we got? What else do we got? What do we got cooking here? What do we got cooking? Charmander and Psyduck still on point. A Rhyhorn would be amazing because I can evolve my Rhyhorn into a Rhydon. 
Well, how many Pokemon do we got? We got almost a third of the Pokedex completed, and that's out of the 151. Uh, once we catch three more Pokemon, we will get into the third of the uh, 50 Pokemon total, and that will be a third of the Pokedex completed. And Mewtwo, Mew, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Ditto. So that's five of them that don't count because uh, they're currently not available, I believe. And I believe everything else is available. So that makes it like a roughly 145 are available. So we are already a third of uh, Pokedex completed, which is good. And I, I haven't really gone traveling too much. I've actually just been catching Pokemon in my own area and hatching eggs. And freaking sprinklers are sprinkling the goddamn cement. The fuck is this a ghost? What, what is this shit? Holy god, dude! I, I hate the night, man. I hate the. I'm so scared, dude. You guys don't even know. Oh, whoa! Charmander's going away, but is Sida getting closer or farther? Just keep walking. Just keep walking. And if it's getting farther away, well, then we're definitely going back and probably going home. And hopefully, we can find Charmander or something by my house. But for now. Keep it on forward, and let me see where the Psyduck and Charmander are. Charmander's still in the top three. Psyduck's on like fifth place over here, son. I would love to get that Eevee though, too. That Eevee doll. All right, now the only reason why I want to show you catch me capturing a Geodude, even though it's pointless CP, I believe if I capture this Geodude, I will be able to evolve him into a Gravelet, which would be very cool to get. Keep expanding my pokedex like a pro right now son so i get that nice throw experience bonus uh, it is an extra small so that's useless and i can get a graveler right now so we're gonna go ahead and do that tonight as well getting plenty of new pokemon right now my main goal in this game is to complete this pokedex as much as i possibly can from the location that i am currently at and we're going to be probably evolving a shitty geodude definitely a shitty geodude there's only 129 uh it's about 55% completed. Well, I'll take it. I will take it because I need my Pokedex completed as much as possible. But a Graveler. That's, that's pretty cool. Golem is up next, which probably going to cost 100 candies, I bet you. So we did get the Graveler. It looks really, really interesting. Now let's see that CP, though. Let's see that CP, though. Probably in like the threes. 300. Come on. 222 with the f and it costs a hundred I told you a hundred candies to eat a golem come on son